In this tutorial in Adobe Premiere Pro, I'm going to show you how to add a video inside a text, something like this. Interesting. And I'm also going to show you how to animate that text. So without any further ado, let's get started. New Adobe Premiere Pro project. I'm going to guide you quickly through my workspace for this tutorial. I've got my project panel where I imported a couple of video clips and also a music track. I've got the effect controls panel, program panel, source panel, which I don't really need, the essential graphics, which is fundamental for this tutorial, tools panel and the timeline. I always recommend to follow me along as I'm doing things. That's the best way to learn and practice with me. So if you have a couple of clips, just drag it in the software right now. The first thing we're going to do today is to import one of our clip on the timeline on track V2. So not on V1. The clip I need is the motocross. This is a motocross clip. And I'm going to take a couple of frames here and drag it on V2 in the timeline in my sequence. This is my clip. This video clip is what's going to be inside the text. So you need to pick a very good shot, whatever you want to fit inside your text for your tiny graphic animation, whatever you are working on. Now to create a text. And if you don't know how to create a text, definitely go and check my previous tutorials where I show you that process in Adobe Premiere Pro. First of all, let's go with the playhead at the beginning of our timeline. So at 0000, zero, zero, zero that's where I want my graphic to start. I go to essential graphics under edit. I go and pick a new layer and choose text. I have a new text on my uh, program panel. Yours might be different in terms of size, font and so on. And what I want to do is to first of all, type a single letter of the word cool, because that's the word we're going to type today. We're going to use for the tutorial. I'm going to double click on my layer here under the essential graphics. And I, I use the capital letter C. But first of all, I want to align the paragraph. So I'm going here on the text and center align the text. Now we're going to center it also related to the frame. So we press on these two icons under align and transform, align vertically and align horizontally. And the C letter is at the center, exact center of the frame. I like the color white. And actually for this tutorial, we don't care about the color. And let's find out straight away how we can actually fit our video or image inside this letter. As you can see here, I have a big and chunky letter to cover a big part of the background image. Otherwise, this tutorial really wouldn't work. So you want to have a big and chunky font. We're going to open also under window the effects panel, which I forgot to mention. So go to window and select effects. That's my panel. I'm going to drag it here. And here in the search tab, we're going to actually type track mate. There it is. Under keying, you will find the track mate key effect. You want to take it and drag it on your video clip. So on the track V2 release it. And now I'm going to expand the effect controls panel because we need to go there. Go to the effect controls panel with the clip with the video clip selected on your timeline. And now here we can target another layer we can play the effect with. In track matte key, you will find the option matte. So if you open up this menu, the list, we want to select video three. So this is the track we are going to target, which is the one with our text on it. We select V3. And as soon as we do that, Bang! That's what we want to achieve. You have your video inside your text, inside our letter so far. Under the composite mode, you want to have selected Mata Alpha. And if you want to find out what happens if we click on reverse, there you have it. Now your video has a hole with the shape of your text or your letter. 
but we want to do the opposite today, we're gonna keep it as it was. So that can be all for this tutorial, but it's not gonna be all, because I wanna show you more stuff for you to enhance your skills. So we're going to animate the text slightly. To do so, let's click on the text layer on V3 on the timeline. In the Central Graphics panel, there's a tab saying Graphics, that's where we're gonna work on, and you will find your text, in my case, uh, it's under C, the letter C. I'm gonna open this up and I've got all the different values and parameters I can change related to this text. Now, if you play your timeline, you'll also see what's happening here. I've got my letter, but also I can see the video underneath and I can highlight part of the videos with that letter. And what I wanna do is to animate and add more letters to this text. So if you open up your text with this uh, arrow on the left hand side of the text, we are now at the beginning of the timeline. We want to click and create a keyframe here in toggle animation of the source text. Click here. Now I'm gonna move forward a few random frames. I'm gonna move to frame 15, for example, on my timeline, and I'm going to add another keyframe. Now moving forward an extra frame, literally one frame, so I'm going to frame 16, I'm gonna add a new keyframe, but I'm also going to add a new letter to the text. So with the type tool, I'm going here in the program panel, click on the text, and I'm gonna press capital letter O, because we want to create the word cool, remember? There it is. Now, play your timeline from the beginning. Boom, when we reach the frame 15, exactly 16, we have a new letter coming in in our text. We're gonna finish off the tutorial with other letters, so we're going to create another keyframe here, which means the letter O will stay until this frame, and then we move forward an extra frame, and we are going to add, with the type tool, the second O, of the word, cool. And now play the timeline again. Right, I'm going to expand here this timeline in the effects controls panel so you can see a bit better. And I want the last letter to be quicker. So right after the third letter O, I'm going to add a new keyframe, move forward an extra keyframe, and add with the type tool the letter O, capital letter O. It's gonna be out of frame a little bit, but it still looks nice, so I don't really care. And now we play the timeline from scratch. So with this, if you have a music track, which we're gonna add soon, you can actually create a graphic on the beat of your track, if you go frame by frame. It's gonna take a bit of time, but it's gonna be a lot of fun, and it's gonna be really nice at the end. As we talked about music track, let's take my music track and see what's going on with the music. So I'm gonna drag it to A1, the layer one of the audio tracks. Woo! Sexy stuff. All right, now let's take this to the next level and I'm going to add a second video clip, which is a snowboarding video clip. Let's say I'm working on an action sport promo and I want to add a title on top of these videos, I'm gonna drag it to V2 here on the timeline and this is the result for now. So let's play from the beginning. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna slow down the snowboarding clip actually to uh, let's say um, 20%. So in slow motion it's gonna look better. All right, nice. What we're gonna do is to add some color correction and we are ready to go. So I'm going in the motocross clip, which is the clip inside my text. I'm gonna open up the Lumetri color panel and I'm gonna play with the colors a little bit. First of all, I'm going to add some contrast and shadows to my image. There you go, a bit of saturation, but also I want to create some contrast between the video inside the text and the video in the background. So I'm gonna make the video inside the text orange, towards the orange colors, there it is, and the one on the snow a bit towards the blues to create this um, orange and teal contrast. So I'm gonna go on the snowboard clip and make it cooler, and also add in some contrast, some highlights, little shadows, and it really comes to life. And there you go, we're gonna play the timeline from the beginning once again. 
Nice! If you want to start your video with a simple video clip and then add the text later on, just go to the timeline, select your text and the clip that's gonna be inside your text, just slide it further down on the timeline and we're gonna start with a simple video and then text comes in. Woo! Love this truck! Right guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I hope you learned something new. And if you did, you know what to do. You need to hit that subscribe button down here. Also hit the like button, share this content with your friends. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Actually, the next video might be another tutorial where we're gonna take these skills, the one you've just learned, to the next level. We're going to create a text graphic like this. <laughs> If you're interested in learning more about video editing, graphic design, video making in general, go and check my online courses at mamoair.com. Some of my courses have been marked as bestseller on Udemy as well, so definitely go and join the other hundreds of students that joined me already and enrolled to my courses. I hope I helped out. I can't wait to see you in the next one. God bless. Take care. Seems all good times come and go.